What's up everybody? Viper here, and today we're back in Miss Survival. I want to go ahead and finish up my uh, kind of how-to season here. And there's a few things I haven't built yet from the distillery, the chicken coop, and the repair station. The repair station is really what I want to see built because I still can't figure out what these weapon parts are. I try to just have one in my uh, inventory. And uh, it doesn't do anything for these two, so maybe at the repair station there might be something to do with it. I don't know. But that's one reason I want to build a repair station. So I got everything I need for it. To build it, you just go into your build and in your workshops. And it's way down here. I don't build this until it's way late in the game because it's it's just not worth it. It's normally just easier just to build to build a new one over it is repairing something um, don't have anything needs repaired like if I try to repair this it's eight sticks three uh, rope and uh, a uh, duct tape let me go get another one that's fucked up This one fucked up. No, that one's not. I got one around here somewhere. Yeah, that one should be. But I did a separate video on the stupid repair station. Where I actually uh, compared and I actually put down, uh, Put a screenshot of what it actually takes to build it. It's just not worth even bothering with this uh, repair bench right now. It just costs too much materials. Like to fix this thing, it's four duct tape, four components, eight rope, and 20 sticks. And to make a new one, uh, it's nowhere near the amount of stuff. 12 sticks, four ropes, and two guts. So it's almost double in everything except the guts. It's replaced with uh, duct tape and components. It's just, it's just not worth it. But I do want to see if I can do something with these stupid things. Uh, no. Alright. So no clue what the hell those do now. Just shove them back there. Alright. I'm going to get some more of this crap so I can build the uh, distillery and the chicken coop. The distillery is actually useful because um, you can make uh, the liquor, which you need to make bandages. And to make them, you need two sugars and one bottle and then you need water two sugars I don't know how many of those I need let me get some water real quick and we'll get that started you don't need any uh, matches or anything like that you just need the actual water where's a bucket at I'm not going to look everywhere. I'm just going to make a new bucket. Four and one. Go grab some water. Alright, take your water, you're going to put it in here. It takes 10 liters, so it's one full can. 
And then once you've got the water, the bottle, and the sugar, just hit distill, and it'll start working. And it'll give you, I'm gonna need some of these. It'll give you a bottle of booze. So then with your booze, you take that and you go into your uh, medical. And you need two bottles of booze. And uh, two rags to make a bandage. So if you're getting hurt a lot, that's how you make bandages. All right, we'll shove that there. Now with the chicken coops, uh, that's another thing that's it's glitched right now, and who knows when they'll fix it. I have no idea. But the chickens don't lay eggs. They used to lay eggs, and you can eat them raw. Uh, but right now, they do absolutely, they do nothing. They just, they disappear on you. Oh, nice mist. Go and grab something to eat real quick. All right, mist is over. Uh, just a bunch of crap. But another thing you're going to need if you want to be immersive is you're going to need a uh, water feeder for your chickens. Uh, the chickens are eventually going to disappear if you keep them. What am I missing? Oh, wood. Uh, so you can feed them if you really want, but they're, they're still going to disappear. Until they get patched, it's kind of pointless, but this is how you do it if you actually want to mess with them. And then you'll also need water for the uh, for your chickens. It doesn't matter what kind of water you use. Clean water, dirty water. I, I like to keep my area fenced off so the NPCs won't go to uh, areas I don't want them to be. Like my garden. I definitely don't want them around my garden because they will... Uh, get stuck All right so once you got your little water can you just go into it just like you do everything else and hit give it'll hold up to 30 liters uh, but they don't really drink that much the first uh, when they first came out like as soon as you reloaded the game, the, the water would be empty. And another thing you're going to need with chickens is stupid feed. And you get that from corn. So you get a bunch of corn, and you get some leaves and some sticks from harvesting corn. And you're going to take that with this uh, mortal and pestle. And you're going to make chicken feed. And then for three corn and ten leaves, you get uh, four chicken feeds. And that'll last you a few days, but until they're, you know, they'll stop actually eating. Um, so let me go get a chicken. And uh, I'll show you how to catch one of those real quick, and then uh, I'll bring you right back once I'm around one of the chickens. All right, we're uh, near where the old uh, military base used to be. And it's usually pretty easy to see the chickens around here. And to catch these chickens, you want to empty your hand. Make sure you got just your hands out. And then you basically just run right after them until uh, you can hit the button to uh, actually pick them up. And you get a chicken. I have been able to put a few chickens in the back of a truck. And then take them back to your base. Uh, but sometimes they fall and... Uh, you gotta go back and pick them up. 
but you can get inside the vehicle with the chicken in your arms and bring them back to base. I'm kind of hoping that they'll fix the chickens where they actually can make little chickens and so it'll make it a whole lot easier to get uh, feathers to make arrows but who knows when that'll uh, that'll happen but I'd be just happy with just uh, them laying eggs for food again so I'm gonna get back to my base and I'll, I'll bring it back all right back at the base you go dump this chicken on the ground. Oh crap, forgot about that. Can't jump with the chip chicken. Alright, chick what the hell? That was weird. I didn't know you could do that. Alright. You can uh, make little uh, dog tags to uh, be able to change the name of it. So if you want a chicken named... I don't know. Uh... Come on, work. Oh. If you don't like Bobby, you want Nancy or Drew or whatever. Put in a name up here and edit and hit OK and it should hopefully change it. Yeah. And it used one of my uh, dog tags. Actually, no, every time I messed up, used a dog tag, so. Just be careful if you actually really care about the stupid chickens. But to uh, feed them, you get this chicken feed, you stick it in your hand. And then it gives you a uh, an area that it actually will throw it. That's why I kind of have a big area. And I got my uh, my foliage down so you can see it really well. And you can still see it on the ground. And this chicken will eventually go over there and he'll, he'll eat it. Alright, see he's eating now. But then he'll be stuck in this stupid uh, chicken coop. And he won't eat for a while, and if you want him to actually see him eat, you'll have to take him out of the chicken coop and then throw him on the ground. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. But that's how you can keep a chicken. He'll last for several days doing this, but he eventually will disappear. I'm um, not sure exactly how long it takes for him to disappear, but he'll disappear pretty quick. But I think that's it for uh, all the stuff I didn't go over so far in this uh, this playthrough. I'm going to do some messing around with the Berserker since the update. And uh, probably down in a mine, but I think that's pretty much finish up uh, this how-to guide kind of season I've done. But I hope it helps. I think I'm going to end it here. And I will catch you all later.